Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer who's trying to run trusted JavaScript code in an isolated context. They've come up with a method using a function called limited eval, but they've hit a snag when it comes to variable scoping. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To run trusted JavaScript code in an isolated context, we can use a function called limited eval. This function takes two parameters, the source code as a string and the context object. Inside limited eval, we use an immediately invoked function expression, or IFE, to create a new execution context. The with statement allows us to use the properties of the context object directly. However, there's a limitation when using the var keyword. Variables declared with var are scoped to the function, not the context provided. This means they won't be accessible outside of the limited eval function. To reuse the context across multiple calls to limited eval, we can modify our approach. Instead of using var, we can use this to assign properties directly to the context object. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with your code is that a new function is created each time you run limited eval. This means variables declared with var only exist within that function's context. To solve this, you should have one function per context and reuse it. A great way to achieve this is by using generators, which can pause and restart. Here's how the code works. First, we define a generator that runs eval and pauses until it receives new source code. If the generator doesn't exist in the context, it's created and stored. This allows us to reuse the function's context for variable declarations. Now, when you call limited eval, it will reuse the existing generator function in the provided context. If it doesn't exist, it creates one. This way, variables declared with var will persist across calls, but they won't be accessible via the context object. In summary, using generators allows you to maintain a single function context for your eval calls making variable management much easier. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see you. Have a good one.